Hi there. Today we're going to look at a new feature in PowerPoint that lets you put icons. Okay, and this is Smart Art, and for every element of the Smart Art, it adds a single icon. And how is this created? Before we get into how this is created, let's understand that this only works in Office 365 versions of PowerPoint. So you have to have an Office 365 subscriber version of of PowerPoint, and then this is going to work. So. This is what we ended up with, and this is what we're going to start with. So how do you get to make it work as a smart art element? Typically, what you would do is right click this and say convert to smart art and choose any of the options. But somehow this does not work with the right click options. What you need here is designer. So I'll go to the design tab of PowerPoint and click the design ideas option. And this gets up the design ideas task pane on the right side. And there's some ideas that are provided here, and the ideas that you see on your computer is different, and all this is served by artificial intelligence. So we just look at the concept here more than anything else, but I really don't see any icon-based ideas here. Why does that happen? Because this, as said, was built on artificial intelligence, machine learning. And as such, at this point of time, PowerPoint can't find a bunch of icons that represent the five bullet points that we have on the slide here, vacations, hobbies, dreams, causes, and humor. So what happens is sometimes if you go and add more text information, so I put in a second level bullet for each of them and add more information. Now it's got more words and keywords to search from. So at this point of time, design ideas may have something with icons. And really, truly true enough here, you have something with icons. And I this is good, but I really don't like it much. First, um, even if the icons were okay, which they are not, uh, the text is very teeny weeny. It is very, very small. And we need to go and play with that and make it better. And uh, you can actually go and do that. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you now. But before we get there, a lot of people may not get options in design ideas. And they may wonder why that is happening. And that may be because you could go to your options tab. Uh, in the backstage view and you have an option which calls office intelligent services now it's important that you turn on these services and make sure that the enable services option has a checkbox over there so if by mistake or by you not being aware if this is turned off then any of these options in design ideas will not work for you okay so now that we've got these icons here let's see what else we can do with it let me get rid of design ideas the task pane for now i as you can see this is very very small but since it's smart art we can go and play with it so what you can do now is i'm going to select these individual icons and i want to change these icons and as you can see in the first slide here i have gone and changed the icons so if i take vacations i could right click this icon and say change graphic from icons and it opens up an icon library here where I could choose what I want. I typically just went and chose a globe over there, but you could choose anything else you like. Maybe it's up somewhere there. Okay, there it is. And we insert that one there. Similarly, I'm just going to go and quickly change all the icons here. And as the artificial intelligence in PowerPoint and design ideas gets better, you probably wouldn't have to change them as frequently. So this one was hobbies. I took something else earlier, but let me go and assume your hobby is gardening. And put that one here. Okay, greens. Again, this is a very wide subject. People can have whichever type of dream they have. Get or other. <laughs> so let's go and just choose something.
So as you can see, the icon library is very limited at this point of time. And uh, as you keep using and uh, the intelligence grows, and I'm sure the icon library will also get better. And you'll have many more options. Causes, I'm just going to change the graphic again for this. It's surprising that even one of the five icons that we originally got was is not too suitable. It's okay. Humor. So we just get something with a happy face. I think that should work for now. Yes. Okay, that solved one problem. We have better icons now, but the text is very, very small, teeny weeny now. And I think we could actually even go and increase the icon size. So I'm going to select all five icons. I select the first icon and then I shift click each icon there. And it's 0 0.42 inches, and you might be using centimeters, so you may get a different measurement unit over there. But make sure that you resize both the height and width identically. So it's 0 0.9 for the height, so I'm going to make sure that I place 0 0.9 for the width as well. There you go. Now I have square icons. Now let's take these icons again push them upwards so they have some breathing space and you'll notice that these seem to be all you, you can't select the other one because it's a text editing mode so go outside and click it here and now you'll find that you can select something else so let's go and make them all center aligned okay and uh, maybe I could change the font size it's actually changing the font size for the text below as well so. push it down and, and now you can reduce the text size there make it center line too so for some reason the icons have been push leftwards easily enough you can drag them up so that it look the other right place that's better now where do the icon colors come from you would believe that it would come from the theme and to some extent that would be true but this is smart art okay so if you want to go and change the colors here you go to the smart art tools the format tab no actually the design tab and go to the change colors options and you can see you have color families here and as you put your cursor over them you can see you can really go and play with the icons and make them look different okay I think I like this one and I'm going to choose this one so this is what we started with and this is what we ended up with have fun playing with the smart art options in design ideas explore more at indesign.com InDesign. Make better presentations. Fast.